Is your dog scared of bath time? Do they act like you're asking them to walk the plank or hop in the water with the Loch Ness Monster? If so, you know I got you. Let's go through some steps that you can try at home to help your dog feel a little less horror and hopefully a little more happy about bath time. Step number one is to create positive associations with your dog going into the bathtub or into the bath space. And this means that we're not gonna have the water on. You're not actually giving them a bath. This is just to let your dog know, hey, when you're hanging out in the tub, good stuff happens for you. And here's an extra bonus trainer tip. Especially in the beginning of this process, it's important that we give your dog traction when they are in the bathtub. It's slippery in there, we all know that. So when your dog's hopping in, especially on step number one, I would recommend putting down a bath mat. Or if you have a rubber mat already in your shower, lovely, you can use that. But giving your dog traction makes them feel stable when they hop in there. No dog likes to get in there and feel like they're slipping and sliding all over the place. We want your dog to feel comfortable. So having this will help you out. Yes. Good girl. Nice job. Nice job. Step number two is now to help your dog hang in there to stay in the tub a little bit longer. So in the beginning, they might go in, get rewarded, and then want to come out. So we want to try to build up a little bit of calm behavior inside of the tub. Again, no water, no soap, no bathing, just hanging out a smidge longer. Yes, good girl. Nice job. Yes. Good. Yes. Very nice. Good girl. Very nice. Good job. Touch. Yes. Good. Knee paw. Yes. Good girl. Very nice. Good job. Good touch. Yes. Good. Step number three is we now want to get your dog used to the water being on. Now we are not going to put the water on your dog or try to bathe them yet. Still holding off on that. But what we want to do is just turn the water on. This allows your dog to experience the sight of it, the sound of it, and also the sensation of the water hitting their paws a little bit. We want to get this down pat before we move on to the next step. Ready? Yes. Good. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Step number four is we're now going to get your dog used to the sensation of getting an actual bath. And we are going to bathe them this step, but we want to keep the bath short and sweet, just like that. You want to avoid getting them wet on the head or the face for right now, especially if your dog really is fearful of the bath. Just avoid their head because that's usually the hardest for most dogs to cope with during this time. You can always wipe them off outside of the bath on their head or their face. Save that for later. But for right now, we're just getting your dog used to being wet, lathered up, cleaned off. Keep it short, keep it sweet, and of course, keep it positive. Quick reminder, it is very rare that this is all gonna come to fruition and come together in one sitting. So take your time, set up purposeful practices and training sessions to work on this and be patient. Now, once you're at the lathering phase, your hands are going to be preoccupied. So a great way to keep your dog positively distracted and also creating further positive associations while being in the bathtub and going through the bath process is to get 
something like this. This is a little lick mat. You can get one with a suction cups on the back and just put it into your bathtub. Let your dog lick this while you get all of the soap all over them. If you don't have one of these, go ahead and just smear a little peanut butter or wet dog food or pumpkin puree, whatever your dog likes, on the side of your bathtub and let them enjoy it while you get your job done. Follow these steps and with some practice, time, and positive reinforcement, your dog should start viewing the bath less spooky and more spa-like.